We welcome you to the 148th Kentucky Derby. To me, we won just getting in. We never been there before, we might not ever get back again. There was no pressure. The long shot of the race, Rich Strike. And my biggest thing was I wanted respect for Richie after the race. I know the odds are really long at 79 to 1, but what have we learned about the Derby? You never know. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. I didn't think he would win the race. I thought he could win the race. As they race by us for the first time, it will be Summers tomorrow to lead the way. And I said, Eric, if we can just finish in the middle of the pack, look what an accomplishment we have. That opening half mile was whoa, blazing fast. I said, Sonny, if you can turn for home with six or seven in front of you, you can win. Now, epicenter is moving up quickly. He's exactly uh, where you had envisioned it and felt like he was good enough to win it. I lost Richie. I could not see him anywhere. I found a lot of traffic. And then I say I had to wait to the stretch. Then all of a sudden, there's a gap. And I, I said, Sonny's going to take that gap. I know he is. If he doesn't, he'll regret it for the rest of his life. Epicenter and Sandin, these two strike for Ryan. The last one I expected to be making that late move was Rich Strike. This is the moment. Epicenter repelled Sandan's bid, and lo and behold, here comes Rich Strike. I didn't realize he was about to catch Epicenter and the horses that were on the lead. I don't even see him. Rich Strike is coming up on the inside. Man, he just kicked in and hit another gear. <laughs> 15 yards up before the wire, I say, I think I got that race. Oh, my goodness, the longest shot has won the Kentucky Derby. Rich Strike has done it in a stunning, unbelievable upset. I grab my dad and I shake him. I said, Dad, we just won the Kentucky Derby. Absolutely unbelievable. I, that was the biggest thrill I ever had in my life, standing there watching his horse pass at finish line. That's one of the biggest upsets in the history of the Kentucky Derby. Friday morning at 8 a.m., this horse was not in the race. This is the most unbelievable day ever. Impossible. It's not about me. It's not about Sonny, it's not about my team, it's about Richie. He is this miracle that shouldn't be there, but he's the one that did all the work. He just can't do all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>